Hi there. This is John Anthony Francis Wilcox, and today is Saturday, the 14th of January, 2023. I hope you're all doing well. Um, today, I sort of have a topic because uh, during the week, a longtime friend of mine, Frank Wyatt, died. Musician that some of you may or may not know from a band called Happy the Man. Um, briefly on that end uh, he and I met uh, I was going to see him perform at a show and we talked and you know we did some interviews it started out professionally and it gradually just turned into a friendship we would just talk about stuff you know we talk on the phone um, we both love classical music and uh, all sorts of things, model kits, science fiction. Oh, you know, Frank was a great guy, and I will miss him greatly. But that's what I want to talk about today. I want to talk about dealing with loss. And I've dealt with a lot in my life, and I'm sure you have as well. And we all handle it differently. And I'll tell you how I handle it. Uh, just for no other reason than uh, I'm going through it. So as soon as I heard Frank was dead, I said a prayer for his soul. And I say a prayer now every night, uh, along with others who have died. And I, I will for the rest of my life, because souls need prayer. Um, I know there are, the, there are those of you who don't believe in such things, and that's fine. I'm not asking you to. I'm just telling you what I do. So I pray for him. And I think an important thing I've done when you go through these feelings uh, is to talk with people. Uh, don't, don't keep your grief swallowed up inside of you. That's not a good thing. Um, I think about the fun times we had, you know, the great conversations and things like that. I, I loved the music he did. I loved, I've heard stories about him from other people now and that was great. I've heard several and that's nice to know. Um, but, uh, you know, it's, it's not easy. I'm not saying it is. I'll tell you in the case of Frank who, who died from, I believe, kidney cancer, he'd been wrestling with this for a good period of years. I, I want to say something near 10 years. And for me as a friend, there was always that undercurrent, you know, you want your friend to, to God, you want your friend to outlive you, don't you? Your friends and your family, your loved ones. And you know, there's a good chance that's not going to happen barring something horrible happening to yourself, which who knows, you know, I came close back in 2021, as many of you know. Um, but it's a, it's a, it's a small shadow over a friendship and you can't let it become a large shadow. You can't waste the time you have with someone with that worry. You have to learn to appreciate the moments you have. And I'm, I'm sorry if this all sounds terribly cliche. It's not meant to be. But um, think of the good aspects of that person that has left your life. In terms of what did they bring you into your life? What did that friendship that relative, that relationship mean to you. I do that all the time with many people I've lost. Um, in that way, you're keeping them alive as well, you know, in your thoughts and, and you see, you'll find them in the thoughts of others as well, which is a good thing. But um, for me, you know, it, honestly, I feel down about it. That's natural. It would be weird if you didn't. You're not going to go, oh boy, another friend of mine has died. That's not something to be happy about. 
so be realistic it's gonna hurt it's gonna you're gonna carry that with you if it's someone that was close to you that meant something to you you're gonna carry that with you always um, and is that a bad thing no I don't think so I think that geez if there's no one you care about if you've got no one whether you've lost them or they're still around I would think the not having anyone you care about or cared about that's got to be a much tougher burden to deal with but anyway I just wanted to talk a bit about that um, I would say the one thing that is a commonality through all of this is when you lose people it's a reminder to not take anyone in your life however deeply or peripherally for granted reach out it's always a good thing let people know when you're when you're hurting let them know that too it's it's important so sorry if this all sounds kind of 12 steppy or things like that i'm not i'm not trying to be i'm just being honest here with you folks so that's it for today i love you all i'll see you next week please be in touch Bye-bye.